Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Flip it, Mr. Chicken. Yes. Today we're going to talk about the difference between envy and jealousy. Now, envy um, is one of the traits of narcissistic personality disorder. Um, thinking that other people are envious of them and them having massive envy towards others. And I'm going to go into why uh, some examples of um, how this will look to you because it's not just an inner um, thing. Of course, I mean, either is the jealousy thing where it gets um, very toxic, right? Oh, holy shit. Burr, burr, burr. Okay. Envy is the painful feeling of wanting what someone else has, likes, attributes, or possessions. Jealousy is a feeling threatened, protective, or fearful of losing one's position or situation to someone else. So there's different types of jealousy, okay? You got the romantic jealousy, yeah. Fear of losing your person to someone else or porn. Online or a real person, triangulation, okay. Um, Counterattacks because of their insecurity. Um, they are going to, um, it, it's almost automatic. So like um, sometimes, with the, um, there's absent-mindedness where we're just fucking, we don't got a filter, man. So sometimes, you know, we're talking about past people or we're talking about somebody's hitting on me or we're talking something, okay? And it's just, um, it really, it it's really not um, a malicious thing um, not saying that, you know, people can't triangulate on purpose, of course, you know, but a lot of it has to do with um, also when triangulation happens, that is insecurity. Um, I am afraid that you're going to be taken away from me. So I want you to know that somebody else can take me away from you. So um, you will become more attached to me. Um, it's really fucked up and I don't like when this happens to me and I do not do this on purpose to others, but I'm a dummy when it comes to um, filtering, you know, what do I have, what I'm fucking saying and shit. And I'm not, um, I don't have that where I put myself in your shoes, you know, before I speak sometimes and it'd be like, um, <clears throat> Uh, I'd be talking about something that happened in the past where I felt insecure when a cute guy came around and I was looking like dog shit, you know, and that might upset my partner, even though it was a long time ago, you know, um, but I'm just thinking, you know, I don't care about this person. It's just something that happened, you know, so what? Um, also like, um, Sometimes when you're very comfortable with your partner, you can talk about stuff um, with exes or whatever, and it's not going to bother you or one night standy stuff. I mean, I don't fucking care. You're with me. I don't care. It's trying to throw people um, in the now in my face. Um, I'm like, okay, this is malicious. Talking about past people is one thing. Saying that you are being targeted in the present moment is another. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, creative jealousy. This is competition. So somebody can um, really, uh, uh, your, the heights that you are reaching um, at your job and everything, they um, are jealous that you are going to, you know, get promoted above them and things like that. Um, or, you know, if we're both um, artists, um, I'm going to, that, that would fall under, you know, if 
they had greater talent than me, that would be envy. Jealous would be, you know, um, I'm trying to get more likes than you. You know, shit like that. That type of um, competition. Um, or, or, you know, how many, how many, how many um, subscribers does, um, you know, Jacob have? Oh shit, he had fucking next to nothing um, when he started, you know, and now he's got double more than me, you know, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, um, sibling rivalry, the hierarchy of children, the golden child and the scapegoat. Um, yes, I have seen a lot of kids, um, usually the scapegoat is really um, jealous and upset with the golden child, but um, just note this, the golden child has to be perfect all the time, or the scapegoat is the one that fights back, okay? So they're the ones that are like, um, they're not going to fall in line with the parental unit and the golden child has to be perfect because they don't want to um, get their fucking ass kicked and in, in, in trouble, things taken away, threatened with money and shit, um, you know, their livelihood or what I've seen this with um, family businesses, okay? Um, workplace threatened by colleagues and success. Okay, this is what I was talking about in competition. Um, yes. So um, even, you know, motherfucking football players working at the goddamn grocery store. You know, it doesn't matter. There's, um, um, I have to get the promotion. I have to look better in the eyes of my boss. Um, I actually really like that though I, I'm not jealous of somebody um, um, I don't know I'm pissed <laughs> I, pi no, I, I don't know I don't know what it is okay maybe you can tell me it's like um, I went away on maternity leave and they gave my supervisor position to somebody else now I came back with the same pay um, I did have less hours, so they gave my job to somebody else who wasn't kicking ass the way I was, and because I'm an asshole, narcissistic asshole, I came back after maternity leave fucking working circles around whoever took my place, making them feel like they're not doing a good enough fucking job, and I totally devalued the shit out of um, her performance that she went to the boss and wanted me reinstated <laughs> as a supervisor. Now, I didn't do this to become a supervisor. You know, I, was, I wasn't working that many hours because I had kids, you know, and I was so cool with that. Um, I was getting paid the same, but I'm not, I'm just, that's my narcissistic shit, man. I wasn't even, um, I, I'm better than you. That, that was the thing. You know, um, so I don't know if that's um, my 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 position was taken away. So is that jealousy? Maybe that is. Okay. Anyways, I got my position back. All right. Um, so why a narcissist envies you um, and strangers? This can happen with strangers too, but um, uh, emotional happiness. They envy your happiness. They wish that they could create that from the inside out because we're always looking for an outside source to create that happiness and implant it inside of us, right? So um, one time um, a coworker, I saw that he was happy and I was like, what do you have to be so happy about? I was actually angry with this guy for being joyful. Yes, I was young, but um, doesn't matter. It was still, um, you know, it doesn't stop at um, just a coworker, 
okay? So if I'm in a low mood and you're in a good mood, that's gonna piss me off. I've done it with my sister. My sister would always have this, you know, this positive bubbly, you know, attitude towards things. Um, and I would be, it would make me fucking mad. It would make me mad that she would be, you know, oh, I get to do whatever I want. And I think that it also added to um, jealousy because she would be single, traveling, living by herself. And I always wanted to be in solitude and everything. And that would make me angry when um, I was not in a state to give to the family unit. Um, and she was just free to come and go as she pleased. She didn't care. And I felt like she was flaunting this shit. Okay. And yes, I wanted that. And now I got that. All right. Uh, what else? Um, relationships with others. This could be um, we envy um, being single and envy. We have envy for um, happy relationships. Um, definitely, yes. Um, I've also been on the flip side where I was like, everybody is envious of us and our relationship that we have, you know, especially when you see partners fighting and everything. And it's like, hey, 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 I'm getting along. I'm getting along with my partner. Da, 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 da. Um, but um, another thing in my past, um, I made a video on this, you know, when I would predatorize um, your zebra butt cheeks with my lioness ways to see if I could take your man away from you not physically not having sexy time but just in their mind um, I felt very powerful that I could do that and just by being um, understanding a good listener because you guys are you know you're bitching at your boy all the time he doesn't have space to be by himself I'm letting him come and go as he pleases and I'm you know listening to him thinking that his hobbies are great and I'm even asking him questions about it where you're probably um, shitting all over the things that he does so like me shitting all over my husband um, like um, football, football, bleh, bleh, talking shit and everything, talking shit about his favorite band, or um, I'm sick of listening about Marine Corps shit. So if he, so if a woman swooped in and was like, "Oh my God, I just love the Raiders," he would be like, "Oh my God, soulmate." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, it's very easy. And men and women will see that, um, oh my God, I'm just connecting with this person on this one thing, that everything else good about my partner is just left in the dust because this, just this one thing is something I really, really want from my partner. And this other person's gonna give it, you know? And they're gonna fucking be attached to that motherfucker. I've done it a lot. It, it, it happens, okay? Please appreciate your partners. All right. Next, um, self-improvement. Um, if you are doing um, well, you know, um, with um, taking care of your mind, body, and spirit, and because, you know, doom and gloom would live up in this bitch if I wasn't trying to do something positive, self-helpy, you know, because it would go wrong. I'm, I'm going to do some positive things. I'm going to watch positive vid videos on things. I'm going to read books. I'm going to try to do different things, change my way of eating. Burr, 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 burr. And then um, if I go into a low mood and now it's uh, alcoholism time, you know, fucking party every day. But it's not a party. It's uh, just running away from low level feelings, okay? And just trying to drown that shit out. Now, so if I'm in a low level, and you want to do well, you want to stop drinking, um, I may enable you, okay? I may offer you. You don't wanna eat sugar, here's, here. Here, I bought you something sweet. I love you, I love you. You know? Um, 
so um yeah, yeah and and you wanting to lose weight and everything you know so you you might see a narcissistic person um sabotage by um you know oh i made you this beautiful thing you know this big fucking cake or whatever have you guys ever watched black swan the ballerina movie right and so um main ballerina she's got to be a stick figure she's probably anorexic um and bulimic and um she's you know gonna be the lead role and her mom fucking bakes her a big old fucking 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 cake what what you should be making her a salad or a grain of rice you know instead of trying to sabotage and it's because her mother was um very envious because she used to be a ballerina all right here we go goals that's sabotaging your goals um this could be with uh uh you know body image self-improvement again um work um trying to um learn a new skill something like that um you want to um um, um change careers and your partner isn't going to be supportive they may even tear you down and um, be pissed off that you know you're going to be making less money um, or it doesn't matter anything they're pissed off that you have um, that you can follow through on something um, I know that uh, you know I'm just speaking from myself okay and maybe you can resonate with some of your people but um, sometimes when I'm trying new things and this can go down to something so simple as reading a book I get bored I get bored of the thing I get bored of trying out the new thing and I stop and I'll go to something else or I'll stop and then be very unhappy with myself because now I don't have anything to hy be hyper focused on like in you know somebody with ADHD um, so yeah I'm going to be jealous that you're able to reach these goals that you have that drive um, not jealous envious because you're not taking fucking nothing away from me you have something that I want and that is um, your your drive your drive to do fucking bomb you know all right um, having financial freedom <sighs> some people um, you know when they're dating if they're pissed off that um, they're struggling or they came from a place of poverty you aren't struggling and you either were born with a silver spoon in your mouth or you worked for everything that you got and they are going to rip you apart for um either having a nice easy er life you know money money doesn't create happiness but it relieves stress of like bills and stuff but you know what i mean so um they're just fucking doom and gloom in it they envy your financial um, freedom or that you can go out and buy whatever you want or that you can change jobs or you can dump money in you know an expensive hobby and that they have to um, you know work tooth and nail to just um, you know pay the rent even if you guys are living together you know they're not gonna feel good about themselves unless they're a fucking leech but um a lot of narcissistic pe people at least me um you know unless we're married and we're a team i'm taking care of the family you're taking care of the bills but if we're you know if we're moving in with each other um i'm gonna be um upset and feel like um i'm gonna feel like a loser i'm gonna feel like a loser because i can't match you know that pay and shit um, and I know that um, if you watch you know videos on relationships and everything that um, 
having that the the men making a little bit more money they want to be the provider and it really does balance the relationship out a lot better if they're able to you know feel um you know they 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 have a sense of self-worth being the provider and being able to take care of their woman and sometimes you see when the balance is off um a man doesn't feel um as good about you know life himself and the woman does get resentful that the man isn't making as much if not more i don't want to fucking hear it all right so these are just some things envy versus jealousy um and usually if i am envious of you um i don't let you know I don't let you know. And if I say I'm envious of you, it's a lie. Because <laughs> I'm not going to fucking reveal that shit, you know? Um, I mean, now I'm more honest, of course. But, you know, in the past, I would be like, if I, 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 I'm critiquing you, you know? Somebody at work would say, oh, yeah, she's a new coworker and she blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for her flaw. I'm looking for her flaw, her chink in her armor, so I can be um, see myself as better than her. Yes, I do that. Also, if I see that you're having a bad day or something, or if you're a service worker and I want good service, I may say some bullshit about how, oh my God, I love your blah, blah. I love it, you know? And, and they're just like, you know, people love feeling um, admired and envied. And then I get good service. All right. So um, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.